So I have one more question. Are there any alumni of J Street U here? So as, as J Street grows and matures, one of the great assets that we are just beginning to put to work is this growing network of J Street U alums. These are folks in their 20s, post-college, just beginning to engage personally and professionally in politics and communal life. We're calling this new effort J Street Lead. And I'm excited that there are a couple hundred folks here tonight who are engaged in the first stages of that work. You'll be hearing more about that effort, I am sure, and I hope, in the years to come. You can clap for J Street Lead. You'll be alumni soon. So what brings us to Washington one month into this new administration, 3,500 strong? We have come because we understand the significance of this moment. Dark clouds loom on the horizon. Not only here in the shadow of the White House, but in Israel and around the world. Democratic values are under attack. Core Jewish beliefs are under assault. We have come to Washington to stand strong. We have come to defend the values we hold dear. And we have come to shine a bright and a powerful light through this unfolding darkness. We have come to fight for our future. Now, there's no question that the world today is full of real danger. Nations and non-state terrorists are threatening our safety and our democratic way of life. Dangerous ideologues threaten their own people and their neighbors. Bad actors with powerful weapons and the means to deliver them are found now all across the globe. So fear, in times like these, that's a natural emotion. But it's also a powerful tool. Here, in Israel, and around the world, some are manipulating the legitimate fear that people feel to set neighbor against neighbor and to erode democratic norms and values. And throughout history, we have seen what happens when demagogues and tyrants weaponize fear. They lead their people down dark paths. Yet throughout history, responsible citizens, good people, have banded together to resist such leaders and ultimately to light a new way. At the dawn of the Trump era, we will stand down the darkness right here in these United States. And in this troubling time, in these troubling times, J Street intends to be a political home, a voice, and a light for peace, for diplomacy, and for American policy that is rooted in values that are core to our identity. This week in Washington, we will do the core of our work. We will advocate for our cause to elected officials and policymakers who represent us. And we will demonstrate to them the strength that we have in their communities. We carry a clear and a powerful message. The most hawkish voices may be loud, but they do not speak for us, and they don't speak for the majority of Americans in this country. The majority. The majority of Americans and of American Jews support a two-state solution. Majorities support the Iran nuclear accord. And majorities support aiding refugees and immigrants. The challenges we face are clear. The two-state solution is under a sustained assault. We have a president in Donald Trump and you can use your things. 
We have a president in Donald Trump who doesn't even understand that there's a difference between one state and two. Well, Mr. President, one state is not a solution. It's the problem we are here to fix. We have a prime minister in Bibi Netanyahu who has clearly pledged there'll never be a Palestinian state on his watch. We have close advisors around the president. For instance, his nominee to be ambassador, David Friedman, who see settlement expansion who sees settlement expansion as a goal, not an obstacle to peace. When it comes to Iran and the nuclear agreement, the signature accomplishment of American and international diplomacy of the past generation, President Trump got elected vowing to dismantle it, and his allies in Congress are looking for new ways, even as we speak, to undermine it. And our challenges, of course, are not limited to the Middle East. Here at home, this new administration is moving to ban refugees, discriminate against Muslims, and limit immigration, all of which go against values at the heart of who Jews are as a people. And meanwhile, the Trump White House has seemed intent on denying the frightening rise in anti-Semitism, at least partly brought on by the presidential campaign and advisors who gave comfort and cover to white nationalism and the alt-right. Yes, my friends, dark clouds are indeed looming on the horizon. And there are many ways to react. One is to throw up one's hands in despair. Another, popular in my house, is to get angry and shout at the television. <laughs> or take out one's anger on a Facebook feed or Twitter. But the reason you are here the reason we are here at J Street is that while despair and anger are legitimate responses, they aren't meaningful answers. The only answer to politics we oppose is to organize and to win in the next election and the next and the next. We need to rally our students, mobilize our rabbis. We need to take our passion out to the streets and we will be out there later tonight, led by J Street U, on a march past the White House as part of their fight for democracy, and I hope that you will join us. We'll tap the energy. We'll tap the energy from all of these marches and rallies and town halls, and we will bring it to the halls of Congress. And most importantly, we will bring that energy to bear at election time, because we know that we can only shape the future of American policy by winning in American politics. In these dark days, as I travel the country to speak, my hosts often tell me there's one thing that audiences would like me to give them above all else. Give them hope, they say. But my friends, hope isn't given. Hope doesn't just happen on its own. We won't find it passively by asking for it. It's on us to make our own hope. It's on us to fight for the change that we want. It's on us to build a better future, and it's on us to make sure that our family and friends at home understand that the only winners, if you throw up your hands in despair and walk away, are the very people pushing the ideas that you oppose. So I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. I want to hear loudly. I want to hear clearly, and I want Donald Trump across the street to hear. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to resist? Are you ready to win? That's what I want to hear. Welcome to J Street 2017. I look forward to the coming days together. We will work together in the coming months, and we will ensure that light prevails over the darkness. Thank you very much.